there's another question to ask. What's your favorite Lady Gaga song? And I just said that earlier. It's, well, at this point right now, out of all, like, the listening of the songs I have of hers, I want to say Shaija, or, yeah, Shaija, however she pronounce it. Um, it's, it's, to me, that's like a club music, like, I don't know, that's, to me, I, like, the, the way how the song goes, the beat, like, I'm feeling this song, like, I don't know, like, if I was to die, I would want that song to be played as, at my funeral, like, straight up, like, I got that song as my ringtone, I got it as my text alert, my Facebook alert, my alarm clock, um, every morning, like, I listen to that song, I listen to that song, going and coming from work, so that's, like, one of my favorite songs of hers, um, it used to be Bad Romance, but, you know, New album, new songs, you know, so I decided to stick with Shiza. It was, it was Judas, but when I heard Sh Shiza, I was like, okay. She was like, my Oscar, Uska, B. Claire, Mexican, Ben, Mosca, Bosca. Yeah, I was just like, what, this? Like, what are you saying? Like, I could tell somebody, they were like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, yeah, but I just said some shit, so you don't know what it means. So, that's one of my favorite songs of Lady Gaga. Okay, um, another question is why am I single um re I guess it's just because I don't know like people here like people in this fucking town to me they're just so bougie like they feel like they want to be spoiled they they want to be with someone who has money and like all that like all that stuff don't even matter to me like it's based on like how you are and stuff you know and just be real honest don't be fake um for some reason, I always have better luck, like, outside of this fucking city, because it's just, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, I get compliments and stuff, but to, like, actually be with someone here, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, say, because first of all, everybody slept with everyone, like, even in, like, straight also, like, you got, you heard this person slept with this person's chick, this chick slept with this dude, this dude slept with this dude. You know, it's like a one big fucking circle. And, you know, when you decide to, like, talk to someone and stuff, everybody's, like, all up in your business. Like, oh, who is he? Like, they just want to know, like, who's this person? Like, who you talking to? And it's like, why you need to know? I mean, if something's wrong with this dude, just let me know. Uh, that'd be, like, my only reason. Like, what's what's the deal? What do you know about this person? Tell me what's up. Because that's short. But for some reason, um... I don't know, I'm just being myself, and a lot of people in this city don't like to be themselves. They like to put on the front and stuff, with all the swag and stuff. And honestly, I think people watch, like, way too much MTV and BET and stuff. Because every way you turn around, you see somebody wearing the exact same shit, or trying to be the exact same person. So it's like, just be yourself. And I think, for me to be single, I'm just glad to, like, be myself and all like that. Because when I don't let nobody tell me what to do or control me, oh, that was a hit to someone out there that's watching this video. Um... So, I'm, like, my own person, like, 24-7, day and night. So, I think for someone who wants to, like, be with someone, they want to be able to, like, run that person. But, with me, it's not having that shit. Because I'll pick up my phone call my cousin on speed dial. All five of them. So, yeah, watch out, bitches. Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite anime? Okay. Naruto, like, straight up, like, Naruto is, he's, oh my god, I, I don't even know what to say, like, it's just flawed, it's just speechless, so it's just fierce and stuff, like, I even got the fucking game of Naruto, you know, so, he's, like, one of my favorite animes, I mean, I even got his tattoos on my wrist, I got the, the seal, the tetragram seal, the prime, program seal for the QB, which is the QB name is Karama. But we'll get, we'll talk about that some other time about Naruto. And I also got the curse mark of Sasuke on my back. So I'm like a, such a huge fan of that anime show and the video games and stuff. So that's just like one of my favorite animes as of this point on. And the next question is, um, okay, this is kind of like a good question. Have you ever had to cut someone out of your life? I, yes, I have. I had to do that, like, twice. The first one was these pe this um, friend and family that I grew up with. Um, I mentioned them in my coming out story. How, like, oh, I'm, like, living with them and stuff and all that. Because um, at one point, 
we didn't speak because we didn't speak for like four fucking years because um his mom told them which I was planning on telling them but she decided to tell them like oh yeah like William's gay and stuff like that and they flipped the fuck out but yeah they live in a city of the capital of Texas where it's all gay like everywhere you turn they're so long gay and for for me to be his best friend to like come out to him it was like why the fuck you tripping? Like, it shouldn't even matter. You know, I thought it was going to be, like, one of those movie moments where, like, a best friend come up to his friend talking about, like, oh, I'm gay and stuff. And then I was, people I was suspecting, like, well, okay, that shit, don't worry about it. But, um, I had to, um, I had to find, like, closure. Like, I was, like, growing up for years with you, can I just end? I was, okay, you know, everything's cool. Like, everything should just be buried, you know. It's been, like, four years, you know, with your fucking homophobic fit shit, you know. You live in a city where gay people is, like, all around you 24-7 and stuff. So I decided to, like, you know, move up there, you know, and just start, like, something new, something fresh and stuff like that. So I did, and, like, you know, things seemed to be good and stuff and all like that, but he was still showing, like, he was uncomfortable, but he was still dealing with it. But then, like, moving forward, um, he kept, like, afterwards... I found out, like he was doing needles. He kept stealing my shit. Like every time I come come down here to like to like um visit my family and stuff, I'll go back home up there, like go back to the house and I find he kept pawning my stuff. And I actually and then there were times I worked down the street, like literally like five, ten minutes away, he would steal my shit. And I was like, okay, you know what, I just gotta end this shit. Okay. So ever since then I had not spoken to them for like three years now. Okay. A second a second um People I had to cut off was these two friends of mine. There were a couple. And some of these, they were like jealous. Like, his boyfriend will always say, like, I'm jealous of you and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I'm just being me and stuff, you know? Like, there's lots of stuff I want to do. And then you want to do this, like, you want to follow my footsteps. I don't know why, but whatever. But um, I had made a status on Facebook, like, around the time, like, doing gay pride. Um, I went, I was like dealing with something and he got mad because I took my best friend out to the club, which I've been trying to get her to go out since high school. And like five years later, um, she's, I'm able to get her out. And so he got mad and like he wrote all this shit on my Facebook page. And I thought I was able to like, you know, just like, you know, well, fuck you, you know, just this and this. But it bothered me and it caused me like so much stress. And like I woke up one morning and I had like a blood vessel pop in my eye and I woke my brother up like freaking out because I never had, never had that happen to me. And so, like, I'm at work, and I was like, what's going on with your eye? And I was like, it's stress. I'm going to like, it's stress. Like, who the fuck did this to you and stuff? Like, it was a big mess. So I have to, like, cut them out. So, yes, cutting someone out of your life may be hard, but it's worth it at the end because you can continue on with your life, and you feel so much better as for breathe. But I'm, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Okay, the next question is uh, what type of video games you like and what's your favorite okay I'm all about fighting like Street Fighter King of Fighters Mortal Kombat Naruto like y'all just saw an example right here like Naruto okay and like I also play like RPG games also but I'm like a fighter like fighting games been it's second nature to me you know and like when I play online like there's some people that's out there that's good and there's some that just don't have no skills at all. I'm just like, dude, it's just it's like it's a fucking game. Like, have fun with it. You ain't winning like prize money or anything, especially if your ass is out of out of the damn country. But um, yeah, fighting games is um, it's one of my favorites. And as the video game, um, right now, Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Naruto, um, the Generation Storm. Uh, the 